What's up guys, it's Chris Davis, the Creature Preacher, and uh, today I'm going to give you a video about a Rescape. So this tank I've had for about a year now, um, and I've done plant tanks before, but this is my first dirted tank. Um, but you see the substrate layer is pretty thick. Didn't mean for it to be that thick, it just kind of happened that way. Um, but with that thickness, has caused some issues in the tank that I'm just not happy with, haven't been happy with for a while. So I'm going to basically, you know, take everything out of this tank, redo it. I'm still going to do dirt it, um, but it's going to be a, a much thinner layer. Um, but of course, some of the issues with that is just the water column uh, has a lot of tannins in it because of the the dirt. I do have driftwood in there, but the driftwood that's in there was in another tank, and so the tannins aren't coming from that or anything like that. Um, as you see, pretty good growth. I'm happy with the growth of the plants for the most part. Some of the health of them. This is just money wart that um, grows pretty wild. I've got crypts in here that are growing really nice. Um, I've got java fern here. So my thought and my plan for this tank was to be uh, you know, kind of a uh, bit of a hill on this side and a hill on this side. And you can't really see it really well because of the light, but here is a piece of um, like spider wood, a couple pieces of spider wood that is supposed to be like a bonsai tree and uh, with moss on it. And there's a couple pieces that still have some moss going on it, but for the most part, the Pocosimus and uh, a few of the other fish, fish have um, eaten that moss and it really didn't grow the way that I, want, that I wanted it to grow in the first place. And then kind of like a little river bed here with these larger rocks, which I'll show you a little closer in a moment. But And then this hill on this side underneath the tree was supposed to be carpeted with SS reppins. And there's still some reppins in there that are living, but it never carpeted the way that I wanted it to. And the reason that I don't think it carpeted is because, again, that depth of soil um, and a little bit of inert um, pockets in there uh, because of the depth, as well as I have a, a bag of lava rock under there that's kind of the structure for that. And I, I, again, it just didn't work out the way that I wanted it to work out. So, long story short, today I'm going to redo this whole tank show you the process, take out all the plants. Um, I've got a bed of fluorite on the bottom of this, which I'm gonna do my best to see if I can leave. Um, and then uh, still black sand as far as the, the cap, we're gonna do that. But um, we'll see how it all turns out here. So, and bear with me, my kids may help out in this video. Um, they're hanging out with me today and as mom's got some appointments and some errands to run. So here we go. I didn't mention in this tank, I've got an angelfish and then it's a very low fish load um, in this in this tank. And I want more fish and, I, and from the beginning, this angel was like in a 20 gallon. And, and so I took him and a couple other fish out of that 20 gallon to move to this 55. And uh, that was again, a planet tank um, and he's doing well and a few other fish that are in there but i want more fish in there like i want to i've got a few tetras in there i want a school of tetras uh in there initially i actually wanted to do some discus so with that i had the, the heater running pretty high on this tank initially and so with that some of my plants that are back here like my amazon sword if you can see that um with that high temperature just wasn't doing well um, and I've got another Amazon, you can't see it now, but back here, uh, that's growing a lot better now. Um, and then like some Anubias back there, um, cherry barbs, you know, some, you know, small fish. So, so with this tank, of course, the fish that I have in there, I'm going to keep in there, but eventually today I'm just redoing the tank and then I'll do another video stocking the tank once I get all the parameters where I want them to be. Uh, for the fish that I'm going to keep in there, so. Wait, well, let me, this rock here is from Snoqualmie Falls in um, Washington State. 
I try to put in uh, my tanks rocks from di different vacations and places that we've been. So this was, uh, we were celebrating our anniversary at a resort in Snoqualmie Falls. And this rock is from uh, the river where the waterfall flows. Yeah, put it in there, Bubba. Um, I know why. I want to go there again to, to give you another walk. So this here, spider wood that was glued together, and um, I'll put it back in there, but you see here that there's some moss growing there. Can't see it the greatest, but there's some moss growing there on that. Um, but each of these branches was supposed to have a nice bush. So um, I'm going to have to redo that. It's going to be so fun. Alright, so we're going to take this guy out. Isn't huge? It's huge. That guy's huge. Wow. Alright, this one's a little heavier. Two hands, put it in there. <laughs> That's called driftwood. Where did it come from? That came from the store. Where'd that one come from? This rock came from the yard. It's a huge, yep, heavy be careful. one. Don't drop it. Much right. one. Look at filter. Look at filter. A filter cleans the water. Don't touch that, please, Bob. Filter cleans the water. Okay. Know so much. That, uh -huh. They listen to their parents Where? when they were little, and they learn a lot. Where did this one come? At this point, I've removed all the fish, and so I am just carefully uprooting each of the plants and putting them into a bucket uh, that's filled with the water that was drained from the tank for the time being uh, and so just you want to be careful about uh, digging up the roots uh, not disturbing the substrate too much even though it's going to get disturbed a little bit but again all the fish are gone so it's not too much of a worry uh, but this part shouldn't take too long So here I'm replacing the substrate layer, the soil. I use miracle Grow organic potting soil for my substrate. Works pretty nice, but I'm doing a really thin layer, only about one inch deep. That's why you see I'm kind of sprinkling it in there. Um, again, I don't want it to get inert or uh, anaerobic pockets in there, so I don't want it to be too deep, just deep enough for the roots uh, to get established and spread evenly.
So after I add the dirt layer, I add the cap. And I'm actually using for the first time black diamond blasting sand. Um, it's really cheap. You get a 50 pound bag for I think it was like maybe nine bucks or so um, at a tractor supply. And I had heard mixed reviews on it, but decided to go ahead and give it a try, and it's worked out so far. So just spread that evenly. I put a pretty thick layer to keep that soil capped because the last time I had uh, soil seeping through, which again was the reason for some of the, you know, the tannins in the tank and, and the and the brown color of the water. So this time I want more clarity, so I want a stronger cap on there. When it comes to hardscape, you can really be creative. Um, as you saw in the beginning of the video, a lot of this stuff is stuff that I either bought or had or found in the yard and boiled. So be creative, have fun with that part. I kept the hardscape just about the same as the previous tank uh, for this one. So I think I just was videotaping, thought I was videotaping this and I wasn't. So I'll explain what I just did. So here again, just um, redoing this bonsai tree um, and so I've got uh, moss balls marable moss balls and super glue gel it's got to be the gel and super glue I've been poking a little hole in the in the balls uh, they've been putting super glue on this tree and then putting putting the balls on there with the hole and you see pretty snug it's not coming off here okay so all of these are glued one of them I use some fish line can't see it I know but some fish line uh, to tie as well as the glue this one here I put a lot of glue because this branch is a lot thicker and I had to split the split the boss ball a lot wider to get on there but sorry I didn't videotape that I thought I was videotaping and then looked up and it was not being videotaped so didn't catch the process but kind of see the end result and of course we see the end result in the tank. So after I had taken all the plants out I just put them in a bucket for the time being and then here I am taking the plants kind of sorting through them seeing the inventory cleaning up the root systems of the plants for those that are a little long trimming them back so that they can have some healthy growth when they are replanted. So here, uh, just that process and and surprised to see how many plants I have and then for the plants that I have a decent amount of, propagating those so I can um, plant them in different places with the java fern, I, I did that a lot. Even though java fern is meant to attached to something and its root system is more so in the wall water column than the substrate um, I ended up putting mine in the substrate and we'll see how that goes
So here we go, guys. Um, finished product. So kept all the plants. I didn't add any new plants or anything like that. Uh, the only plant that I may add is uh, some S, S some S reference um, on this side of the tank here under the bonsai tree. See if I can get that to carpet like I was trying to do initially. We'll see. Um, a Java firm is put here, and I know that'll probably grow out, but just a nice little Java fern garden there. I propagated the uh, dubious, and uh, so I got three plants there in front that won't grow too big. And then my crypts, I put those since they were growing really nicely, I put those further back. I know I've got bubbles all over the tank, so I'll do another video when it's more clear. Um, did my uh, Amazon sword here in front. There's a little cave there. Uh, you can't really see it, but there's a little cave right there for like fish to uh, swim through where the bubbles are going. And then my money wart, um, which is pretty invasive, but I put that in the back there so it can grow at will. And as you see here, uh, my angel, he's in there already. And uh, so see how this goes and stock this up. But the um, moss balls on the bonsai tree look a lot better than the original ones that I did. So, um, again, hopefully this all kind of pans out. Um, kind of so-so on the filtration on this tank. I'm got a Sun Sun, I think it's a 305 um, that I'm running on this one. I've got another uh, Marine Land canister filter that is downstairs that I haven't used yet. And, was gonna use for another tank, but I may switch it and put it on this tank. Um, we'll see uh, how the water flow goes. And I, I do have a pump. I think it's a 265. It's an off brand, but I think it's, no, it's not that much. Um, I forget how much that pump turns, but it's pretty powerful for this tank. And so that's the reason that it, it's not on right now. Um, so finding the right spot for it. So I'm gonna kind of let this tank settle a little bit um, and then see if I need that and where exactly I wanna put it to make sure that it is not too crazy of a current and it's flowing the right way. So, all right, uh, and then again, I'll do another video. Uh, once, once the tank is cleared up of the tank just by itself and uh, so that you can enjoy it. Thanks for watching.